October the 18th, 24, the long line of this mode tonight. We have special night as the dirty dominant inferior announcer receives his issue with an opening challenge at Extreme Move. Julia Dragunov comes out and accepts the challenge as he does our truth spears a tip and says he should get the challenge. So Dirty Dom says, Both of you want to face me at Extreme Rules, then it will be our truth versus Ilya Dragunov next. And the winner will face me at Extreme Rules for the Intercontinental Championship. Ripley then comes out and says, well, as long as Tom is out here issuing an open challenge in Oscar, I'm expecting to see you at Extreme Rules. But if anyone else is interested, please come out now. Then Maxine Dupree's music hits off, and Maxine, Maxine Dupree comes out and says, Well, the Judgment Day and Alpha Academy have been in a heated rivalry nowadays, so how about tonight? After our truth versus Yulia, we have Maxine Dupree versus Oscar. And Rhea Ripley accepts her offer. We have a battle royale fatal four way match. We see the number one contender here match to face Finn Balor at Extreme Rules for the World Heavyweight Championship. And then Finn Balor is getting himself ready. Or whomever he may be facing an extreme rules for the World Heavyweight Championship by fighting in a match against Seth Rollins. So let's get started with our troop and Ilya Dragunov. The winner will face Dirty Dom at Extreme Rules. Oh, this is my favorite part. He's gonna sing. Y'all know what time it is. This the part where we crank it up. Let's crank it up. Now here we go. People over there, what's up? You feel me? Stand up and say what's up. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? You can get with this or you can get with that. You better get with this. Cause this is where it's at. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? See, I be skipping and jumping, leaving the competition. I make him disappear like your favorite magician. And I ride it till the wheel fall off. I bounce back to back till they next get soft. Most of the time you see me, I'm being simple. Too many times I'll be busting them up like a pimple. Stating my claim to fame. To be one of the baddest young brothers step foot in this game. And I haven't even started yet. You can better believe I take it off the show shot bet. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? The czar of WWE, Ilya Dragunov. Weighing in at 187 pounds, Ilya Dragunov! Absolutely unbridled aggression every time Dragunov competes. There's something beautiful and destructive in the style of Ilya Dragunov. Yeah, Corey, it's like he leads the WWE Universe in a wonderful symphony and is ready to make beautiful music in that ring.
Ilya Dragunov. Now, this young man says that pain makes him feel alive. He comes to the ring prepared to receive just as much damage as he doles out to his competition. Yeah, there's Relentless, and then there's Dragunov. He doesn't care what toll this match takes on his or his opponent's body, just as long as he comes out on top. A man driven by a relentless fury who attacks without hesitation. Ilya Dragunov is ready to fight here tonight. Our truth is extremely unpredictable, though. You never know which version of our truth you're going to get. Is he going to be the one interested in dance breaks, or has he come to show off his veteran prowess? Well, whichever version of our truth we've got tonight, I'm sure little Jimmy's going to be over the moon. And well-timed maneuver there. Did you hear that chop? Back and forth we go. Ooh. Give it up now is not an option. They have to finish this. The fight is on, and it's furious. Two fighters putting their haymakers on autopilot right now. Both absolutely drained, but both refusing to give up. Exhaustion setting in, and neither one of them is lighting up. You can feel the contact, and so does the WWE Universe. What a punch! Climbing up top, he's got big plans. Blast off. Oh, man. A perfect maneuver. Cover. Just kicks out. You have to think this battle is starting to weigh down on him. The adrenaline is pumping, and the WWE Universe is on his side. He's getting up, but there's danger in front of him. Watch out! What? Trying to do as much damage as humanly possible. But at what cost? And here we go now. Elbow drop to the knee. <laughs> Trying to debilitate the capability to stand. Stomping down! And we might be about to go from commentators to participants in this one, fellas. Climbs back inside. And Truth evades that. Will Truth take advantage? Makes the cover! No, he beats the count! The amount of damage Dragunov can and will take in any given match is unbelievable. And we are seeing that right now. He is still in... Here it comes! Special delivery! Attitude adjustment! Wow! That was incredible! Dragunov is out! That's it!
Oh, come on. What is he thinking? You had him down where you wanted him. All the way through. Well for the win. Big combination. What reflexes. Looking for the pin. And gets reversed. Is it enough? Makes the cover. And only gets a one count. Still going to take a nap. Real barrel rolls through. Shoulders down. The cover. Gets reversed. Shoulders down. Pin. Oh, flips the lever. Shoulders down. Shoulders down. Trying to steal it here. Makes a cover. Somehow breaks the count immediately. What's it going to take to put this match away? Here comes the number one gal from the Alpha Academy. A model student in more ways than one. The following contest is scheduled for one thumb. Making her way to the ring, representing the Alpha Academy from Phoenix, Arizona, Maxine Dupree. A woman who joined WWE in search of the top modeling talent, but is now competing alongside the Alpha Academy. Well, once you find a model like Otis, you really can't get any better. I'll have to take your word for it, Saxton. Please do. Every time Maxine competes, she seems to pull an amazing new trick out of her bag. That's the Academy of Training at work, Cole. You are looking at their newest star student. The crowd is on their feet for the Empress of Tomorrow. Charismatic, cunning, and commanding. A superstar in every sense of the word. And from Osaka, Japan, Asuka! Think about this, gentlemen. Asuka has a combined 914 days without defeat in NXT and WWE. And Asuka has remained dominant even after that historical streak. Think of all the memorable clashes against Bailey, Charlotte Flair, and Becky Lynch, just to name a few was invincible in NXT, every bit as dominant on Raw and SmackDown. If you look deep into the eyes of Asuka, you can almost see your demise. Already a first ballot Hall of Fame career, but her accolades keep on growing. Maxine Dupree may seem bubbly and even vapid at times, but she's a smart competitor with a ton of energy. Not taking her seriously in the ring might be the worst mistake you could make. Dupree has shown us that she is dedicated to improving her skill set and becoming a bigger threat in between the ropes. When Maxine sees an opportunity, she gives it her all. You really do have to respect that. Dupree has a lot to prove, but she's ready to do just that. And across the ring from... And will this be it? And the referee stops the count before two. She's still in this one. Oh. 
That kick will stop you in your tracks. Uh-oh. Oh, here we go. Uh-oh. Asuka turns it around. Oh. Oh, holding the wrist and absolutely punishing. Every strike more devastating than the last. Dupree with some agility. Utilizing the top rope to inflict more punishment. They're draped over the top rope. She's got an answer for that. Oh, straight forearm. Asuka often uses a frantic pace of offense in the ring. Those overwhelming attacks can throw some of her opponents off their game immediately. Can it, Corey? Well, you're not wrong, Cole. Thus, you need to control the pace against Asuka. If you can establish dominance before she starts tearing across the ring, you'll be in a position to capitalize. And Dupree's focus being tested there. You can almost feel the intensity coming from Asuka on that attack. Just using the adrenaline to stay in the match. We're no closer to a winner just yet. Look at Asuka go, my goodness. Stunning kicks by the Empress of Tomorrow. There's that piercing offense from Asuka. She's showing off that buzzsaw style of offense. Will it be? An emphatic victory. Another moment of triumph for Asuka, the Empress of Tomorrow holding court and reigning with terror. The champ is here. No one does it better. You have got to give it up to the living, breathing GOAT of WWE. The following contest is a four-man battle royal. Making his way to the ring from West Snowbury, Massachusetts. Weighing in at 251 pounds. The greatest of all time, John Cena! One of the most powerful competitors in WWE history. Now, yeah, Never Give Up isn't just a t-shirt, it's a legit way of life. Big match, John, ready to go to work here tonight. It goes like this, errors change, championships are won and lost, but there is one constant, and that one constant is John Cena.
The ring general has arrived. A man who ruled NXT with an iron fist and now looks to dominate the main roster. And his opponents first, representing Imperium from Vienna, Austria, weighing in at 297 pounds, Gontar! We are looking at the man who etched his name in the history books, becoming the longest reigning intercontinental champion of all time. Once that bell rings, it really doesn't get more dominant than Gunther. No mercy is the name of the game. And Gunther began his career in WWE proclaiming that the ring is sacred, and his accolades have proven just that. Everything Gunther does, how he competes, it's all about picking up a victory. Winning is the only outcome for the ring general. Failure is not an option. He despises mediocrity. Sami Zayn is here, and he is all fired up. Listen to the energy in here for Sami Zayn. Sami never gives less than 100% in the ring. The incomparable Sami Zayn, ready to give it his all once again. The ultimate measure of a man is how he stands at challenging times, and Sami is always up for a challenge. From Dublin, Ireland, weighing in at 267 pounds, the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus! The Celtic Warrior has accomplished just about everything there is to accomplish in WWE. Sheamus is always around for a fight. The success, hey, that's just a byproduct. Looks like these superstars are ready for this battle royal matchup. Last superstar standing will be our victor tonight. Ready to get it on. We see John Cena, Guther, Sami Zayn, and Shit. Uh oh. Ducking out of trouble. Placing them into the corner. Oh, punch right to the face. Sammy's focus looked like it was shaking after that. Cena taking things up a notch, rising to the occasion. I don't care how much padding the floor seems to have. Being thrown out of the ring like that is incredibly unforgiving to your body. Pounding the bread basket. Whoa, not quite yet. Look at the power from Cena. Face first. Oof.
Uh oh. Here it comes, legendary. Five on the shovel. He went right into that turnbuckle. Snap power slam. He's back into the ring. Ooh. Turning the tables. John Cena. Said Gunther is out. Gunther has been eliminated. Oh, what a right! Yeah, that's some attitude behind it. He deflects it right back. As the hook looking for sliced bread. Oh, countered into a power slam. And set right into the corner. And that negates Zane's offense. Uh-oh, monkey flip. <laughs> I love it. He's on his heels a bit now. Yeah, this is where battle royals get tough. The longer you last, the more damage you're dealing with. The five-knuckle shuffle! Saw it coming and slowed it. I think he just wants to make his opponent. How's he gonna get out of this predicament? Elbows his way out. We're about to see it. Attitude oh, adjustment. Cena can put it away here. Second history middle wheel John Cena versus Finn Balor, Oscar versus Rio Ripley, Archwick versus Dominic Mysterio, and now we have Finn Balor or men up against Seth Rollins. Here comes Finn Balor. One of the most talented competitors around with a darker edge than ever. The following contest is scheduled for one thumb. Making his way to the ring, representing the Judgment Day from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland. Weighing in at 190 pounds, he is the World Heavyweight Champion, Finn Balor. You know, Finn Balor, used to have such a deep connection with the WWE Universe, but he's throwing all that away with this new attitude. I'd argue that was the smartest thing that Balor's ever done. Finn used to be the guy who let glory slip through his fingers, who fell just short of expectations, but now he's living up to his hype and much more. Balor famously became the first ever Universal Champion, but had to surrender the title to injury. And he's had some measure of success since then, but he's become bitter, he's become jaded. Uh, you speak lies, Cole. Finn Balor simply realigned his values. He knows now what he must do to return to the mountaintop, and he's more prepared to do so.
Judgment Day has arrived for anyone in the ring with Balor tonight. And Finn Balor has made it perfectly clear that he will stop at nothing to secure his position at the top. No remorse, no regrets. Balor is here to take what he believes is rightfully his. This is the purest form of Balor that we've ever seen here in WWE. No one can overlook the Prince now. The pure form of Balor is on a mission, one that continues here tonight. And let us not forget about the visionary Seth freaking Rollins, who always has a strategy, always has a game plan, and always has the upper hand. And always has a penchant to get under his opponent's skin, too. Picture perfect drop kick. Out of the way in time. You. I wanted to knee you in the face again. Finn Balor, one of the most educated superstars on our roster. Is there any specific key to taking him down? You can't hope to match the kind of experience Finn Balor has, but with that longevity comes exposed weaknesses. Identify the weak spots and target them accordingly, because if he takes you into the deep water, you will drown. Oh, we're going to grind the features off their face oh, right across the top row. It goes without saying that there is a certain disdain for your opponent when you pull off something like that. And fans' ruthlessness being called into question after that attack. Yeah, Rollins looks sharp there, physically, mentally, and fashionably. This won't end well. Rollins carefully placing his opponent on the top turnbuckle. Rollins now joining him. Here it comes. Superplex. Rollins rolls through. What a shot. Seth Rollins taking charge in a big way. Rollins holding all the cards as he has Finn down and out. And if you're on the receiving end of that move, you've got to be rethinking a few things. That is, if you can think at all right now. Boom. Nice. Setting up! Explain Buster! And a maneuver like that will leave you on unsteady legs, to say the least. Heading up, he's thinking big! From the top, double axe handle connects! He's looking a little weary now. Might be the start of Balor turning up the heat. Ah! 
Set up, ready to strike. Corner connects with a shot. Does he have him here? And he fights it off. Good Lord, scarily close to three. Precise. Look out. Stop. Balor's in a terrible predicament. Makes the cover. And Seth Rollins picks up the win. Here is your winner, Seth Freaking Rollins. Seth Rollins. Victorious. This has to be a bitter defeat for Balor. Yeah, Rollins has once again proven that he's at the top of his game at Balor's expense. So this match might be over, but this, this isn't over. John Cena comes out and says, um, if you can't win against Seth Rollins, then how are you going to win against me and I see you? Well, you use your judgment day. When you see Valor at Extreme Rules, you're going to be looking at the new 17 time world champion in WWE. He's addressed the microphone and he walks out. He's been battered for a lot. That's it for now. Until next time, peace.